Hey, everybody. Hello hey, again. You know, it's been a while since we've uploaded video, but we have so much to share with you. So stick around. Instead of us just talking through it, you're going to see a lot of it. Happy summer, everybody. Yeah. We've had a busy one. Yeah, we have. And believe it or not, we've been recording all along the way. We have, no joke, a list of eight videos <laughs> yeah. that we had every intention of yeah. making yeah, yeah. that didn't happen. Nope. But we have the footage, so we thought, hey. Eight videos in one today. Boom. So sit back. Our first stop. We decided to drive what is called the Enchanted Circle. We had visitors in town. We mm -hmm. actually had three sets of visitors in town mm -hmm. this summer. The last one's left today. Yes. Boy, are we, we tired. tired. So the first group we took um, on a drive around yeah. what's called the Enchanted Circle. Yep. It was lovely. Yep. Lovely drive. Good food. Great sights. Oh, yeah. We saw a bald eagle. We oh. didn't get a picture of it because oh, I was so... Yeah enamored yeah, and taken aback yeah. at the fact that we bald actually eagle. saw a bald eagle flying I mean, over. amazing stuff, but instead of talking through it, uh, and, probably saw them. and it was, uh, what was it, uh, how many miles? 84. 84 miles of a... An, oh, plus a little sidetrack because we also went to see the Rio Grande Gorge oh, Bridge, yeah, yeah, so yeah. that was a little bit technically off yeah. the, the Enchanted Circle. So, check it out. All right, so we live at approximately 8,600 feet of elevation. Uh, it's really high for us, but we've acclimated. However, because guests were visiting, what did we do? We took the scenic chairlift to the top of the big ski mountain. I'm afraid of heights. He did great. It was... Uh, he did great. It was his second, third, second time. Second, second time. time going up the big chairlift. He did great. We found that having four people on the chairlift yeah. made it much less bouncy yeah. and terrifying yeah, yeah. than just having the two of us on there. Um, but our guest loved yeah. it. It's she great. didn't even know the one of the people that was with us didn't even realize that this was on her bucket list. But she <laughs> ma it made it on her bucket list as we were going up the mountain, and she checked it off, and she had the she thought it was the coolest thing she'd ever done. So, so you end up uh, you end up at about ten thousand five hundred feet when you get to the top of the chairlift. Uh, it was awesome. Amazing views. Here we go.
So uh, what do you do when uh, guests are going to come over? And you live in a nice climate? You clean up. No, you sit on the porch. <laughs> yeah, right. You sit on the rocking chairs on the porch. And when we were doing that with these guests, we realized that it up a little bit. It was pretty uh, polleny and yeah. dirty and yeah. dusty, yeah. cobwebby. So uh, we got on a kick one day and decided to clean everything up. We also decided to this was awesome. Put up our bird feeder. So we used to always have a bird feeder up. It was a video bird feeder. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. Yeah, it's really neat. And, and if you if you follow along on our channel, we've been uploading a bunch of shorts of the videos of, what we're getting. of all yeah. these birds, beautiful birds. Yeah. So uh, here we are. Uh, making that happen. So you know that we're getting uh, ready to start training for uh, a marathon. It's coming up in a, a few weeks, we're going to start. Gonna say, yeah. But you also know, if you've been following along, that we started mountain biking while we were here. <laughs> and our first foray into recording our rides was a GoPro that was taped to my hand. This is a little nauseating. Yeah, it was. So yeah. we decided, hey, Let's take our... Let's tape a different camera to the handlebars <laughs> and see how it does. Yeah, yeah. so we did, we did that. We, we went out for another ride. Uh, check it out. It's a little smoother, no? <laughs> Yeah, we're uh, we're hurting. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell in the videos, but these these uh, hills are vicious. Anyway, I guess we're maybe about halfway through. We're gonna try to head back, but uh, uh, we're checking out maps now. <laughs> There's no flat way to get back. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we decided to uh, do a little more uh, posh adventure. Little maybe. culture. <laughs> we went to the uh, Santa Fe. Uh, Santa Fe. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> All right. So we decided to do a little more posh. Uh, how did you say? <laughs> some culture. Got some culture up in this. We went um, to the Santa Fe Opera. World renowned. Yeah. Amazing facility. Oh my gosh. They, like the, the production was beautiful. Holy mackerel, we man. really, we, you know, I have a musical theater background. David has a musical background. On the way there, I was like, why haven't we ever gone to the opera before? We've been together for a long time. Why not the opera? There, are, there are answers to that question. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. this one was wonderful. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, it was wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, check it out. This facility, it was just mind-boggling. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's in such a beautiful, enchanted area. Yeah, it's, it's uh, really stunning. Yeah, we wanted to share it with um, you. One of the neat things they do, too, though, because it's kind of, it's not like in town. It's outside of town. You know, there's not like a whole lot of restaurants around or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But they encourage, I guess, allow uh, tailgating yeah. at the opera, which is kind Oh, cool yeah. um unfortunately on the day that we went it was stormy so it, it barely cleared up in time for us to go it is an outdoor venue too so we were kind of nervous about uh, yeah um about the the show itself mm -hmm. but it was totally covered it was just open so yeah, like, you'll, you'll through, see it in the footage but anything. we had tailgating supplies so <laughs> We, we snacked in our hotel room. <laughs> we had a little tailgate at the room. And guess what? We have the footage to share with you right here. <laughs> So, you know, summer's not all about fun. Uh, one of the things that we learned living up here in the mountains uh, is that we need to be uh, fire wise. And what that means is a you need... A defensible space. Yeah, is defensible space, right. Because yeah. uh, there, there, there is a threat of wildfires here. Oh, yeah. and so, uh, one of the things that we had to do was uh, gather up all of the pine needles yeah. on our property. And oh my gosh. I'm just going to go out on a limb. And say that the prior owner of this house never, never. did this. Yeah, and that's fine. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's fine. I mean. But dang. Wow. They were thick. Yeah. We borrowed a trailer. Mm -hmm. We learned how to pull a trailer. Never done it ever. And we filled it up three times. Mm -hmm. yeah. And took it to the dump for them to burn. Yeah. All in all, we spent like 20 bucks having them take it off our hands. Because yeah. we had to pay every time we took them. And yeah. holy 
Yeah, because uh, it was a workout. And you know, they they, they take dirty. they take that stuff and and they uh, they burn it properly to make sure that uh, you know it's it's just out of the way. So anyway, we we wanted to share that with you. It was something totally brand new for us. Again, I've never owned. I, neither of us have ever owned yeah. a vehicle that actually has a hitch, and now we do. So we used it, and yeah. we feel pretty good about it. But. Uh, not yeah. looking forward to next year. Although next year should be easier. Should we be we learned easier. that uh, the rake that we had was absolute garbage yeah. for this particular task. Yeah, right. We had to buy a new rake, but then we found when we borrowed the trailer from um, some people that we know mm -hmm. that really you just need a pitchfork. Pitchfork. <laughs> that An was what pitchfork. they the let us borrow ones. their pitchfork and that worked. It was awesome. Very well. And you'll see how right here. <laughs> hey, so uh, like many things here, we're learning how to do something uh, essential but something we've never ever done before. So I'm gonna have to put a hitch uh, on the car so that we can pull a trailer uh, and we'll show you what we're pulling. Anyway, so uh, here we go. Let's see if I uh, do this right. Ooh, so you know that we're getting ready to uh, make some trips to Disneyland. I'm making us some outfits. Right. The trips are just under two months. Of, the trip, the first trip is just under two months yeah. away. I've got some other kind of crafty projects that I'm working on, but that's fine. I'm also like tossing in some of this. Well, here's um, what's cool. Here's what's cool. We actually were able to purchase tickets for the Oogie Boogie Bash, yeah. an after hours party. Right. And uh, Laura had amazing fabric with years villains. ago it yeah, feels years like ago. i bought uh some black panther fabric and i bought some villains fabric yeah. but i just never ended up making those outfits oh, no. but now we're going and it's gonna be awesome and we're going to oogie boogie bash so i'm i'm making these outfits in particular the villains one i, I kept looking at the fabric and it was like this white fabric with you know kind of it almost looks like um like a haunted mansion wallpaper yeah. kind of look but it has yeah. little like villain heads in mm -hmm. it and like villain you know, but it was symbols. Just, it was just really. It was white like, with black print, and yeah. something about it, mm -hmm. I it just didn't, it didn't grab me. But um, it occurred to me, my theater background, that uh, you can take tea, just regular tea, and dye fabric, and it makes it a really kind of interesting color. So I tea dyed like three or four yards of fabric. Yep. So it turned out. Oh yeah, it looks it looks perfectly. amazing. Well, yeah, check it out.
So with all that said, you know, with summer, I mean, it's already August, yeah. right? Uh, oh, yeah. And pretty soon it's going to start getting colder and colder and colder. Um, we uh, we decided, hey, why don't we just uh, make an overnighter to Taos, which is a beautiful, beautiful place. Wonderful food. Uh, we just, we don't get to really do much because we have to get back and we decided and it's a this. it's a scary windy mountain pass mm -hmm. home which means you can't have a like, <laughs> yeah. you can't really enjoy all the beautiful uh, margaritas that Taos yeah, has yeah, to yeah, offer right. and then safely come home uh -huh. so we just decided to get a um, hotel uh -huh. we ended up at the historic Taos Inn mm -hmm. it was adorable yep. it was old yep. <laughs> but it was excuse me oh my gosh I got the hiccups again <laughs> it was um it was adorable um, some, some features were a cute little window unit, uh, AC, because it is warmer there than it is here, yeah. that wasn't totally sealed. So I noticed the next morning, I was like, oh, that's like a quarter size yeah, hole that just bleeds outside. Right outside. Um, <laughs> the bathroom, uh, hit about yay. The door frame was, uh, a little short for yeah. David's stature. Yeah. Uh, they had a fantastic restaurant and bar, uh, uh, Doc, yeah. Martin's, Doc Martin's, uh, so named for a historic doctor from the area, Dr. Not Martin. Not Doc Martin's Martens, shoes. Martins, <laughs> as in... Yeah. The Taoist doctor from the 1800s. <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, I don't know, we just, we had a lovely yeah. little time. We, we walked time. around, we, we yeah. did some shopping, mm -hmm. and we um, had some really, really, really fantastic food and drinks. And Ta Taos is amazing. It's amazing. And for us, it's just right there. So, hey, we want to share it with you. Check it out. So friends, thank you so much for watching. You know, if you haven't, please subscribe. Uh, we really appreciate our subscribers. We appreciate you watching. Uh, if you like this video, hit like and hit the notification button. You'll find out uh, when we upload our next eight video. <laughs> Which we're really, really, really hoping will yeah. be more consistent once we start training again. Um, but yeah, so that's been our summer. Mm -hmm. It's been busy. It has and been. again, we had every intention mm -hmm. of getting these eight videos out. But, but you know, stay tuned because uh, we're going to make some uh, Disney trips. We're going to start training for the marathon. Uh, yeah. And so, uh, you know, we'll get back on a, uh, a regular uh, posting. Uh, we do appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. Uh, keep the comments coming. And, uh, you know, I mean, it seriously <laughs> is always an adventure with you. We'll see you soon.